So the last part of this lab now is just to make the layout. And remember you can change the layout view by clicking on this little button at the very bottom. Um, switch between views or you can do here view, layout view. And then you'll have your normal map. Um, what you can do, like what I like to do sometimes is to do landscape. If you go to page file, page print setup. Um, here you can take it off of the printer um, decouple it from it by unchecking that and then you can do whatever you want here so landscape size letter and you can see here now I have a landscape uh, map I can resize my data frame here put that here um, I can think about stuff like uh, like once I get this box the way I like it to zoom this in I can go just with my standard toolbar here and just click like full extent that will zoom it in um, I can also think about um, adding in a neat line so I can say insert in a neat line and I can even add a, a light background on the neat line The neat line you can uh, resize also. I can insert in information like uh, the title of the map, insert in a title. I can put, uh, put in here like median. Median household income. And that's going to give me my title here. You can do things like, uh, and if you, some people had problems with this where they wanted to change the map and they went here and then the text seemed like this weird code. You can replace that text there or you also have the option to go here to File, Map Document Properties, and you'll see here this is where the title's being pulled from. Sometimes it's nice to have this information filled out so I can put in here my name or you know put credits to SUGIS or whatever I would like to do. I can also go in here and change the symbol and uh, change the the font that's being used. A lot of times it's nice to change these these fonts because you don't want to you don't want your map to look like every other map that's been made in, in ArcMap because a lot of people just use the defaults just by doing simple changes like that can make a huge difference. Um, I can insert in my legend and uh, you can see here a lot of times I don't even like having the word legend just delete it out. Um, here again you can change the font. And whenever you hit finish it gives you a legend. Um, some people didn't like these this information here um, that can be changed by double clicking it and then if you go into items you can see here here's your legend items and you click on style you can change how this legend's shown you can click on different things here to see the different styles of legends there are um, I kinda like this one usually and if you hit properties here you can choose how the label where the label description is put at on top below so forth mm. and you can also go here to general and then you can take off this heading that will get rid of this med ink and all this other stuff so if I hit OK 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 you see now I have a different style legend um, one thing that I can do criticism right off the bat is that this gray might be confusing with this gray background so maybe I shouldn't have put a gray background on this neat line so if I go back into the into the properties for the neat line I can just go back here and just say none so then that doesn't cause a problem um, the border that's fine so 
Um, you can also think about adding in uh, some text about the source. So I can put insert uh, text. And then in the text, I can type source US census 2010. I can also put in information like scale bar. So insert scale bar. Then you can choose in any one of these. Um, one thing is that decimal degrees doesn't make any sense. So if I click on it, I can change the division units. And I can put something in like kilometers or miles. And then I can hit apply. And a lot of times just to fix it to the even numbers, you can just you see rearrange the size here until it falls into numbers that make sense. Um, let's see. Shrink it down a little bit, like 100, 200, 400. Works a little bit better. Then I also do insert a north arrow. And you can go through here and look at the different north arrows that are available and choose one. Um, one other thing I can do is like instead of having everything out here on this side, I can just move everything within my neat line. And I can even look at my map document properties again, uh, under, I mean the page setup, and even start messing with the sizes here and say instead of a, a width of a of 11, I could put like more of a square uh, width of 8.5. Move these things around. And the idea is like you want to make a nice looking map, a map that that's visually appealing and has a lot of information in it. So, um, you know, think about that whenever you do that in your maps. Then file, of course, save. Go ahead and save this MXD so then as you get feedback, you can go back and change and fix different things. And then file, export map. I'm going to export map as a PDF. And then also, just so I can upload it to Facebook, I'm going to go ahead and also export this map as a JPEG. And this will be something that I'll put up on Facebook page. So you guys can do some comments. If I look now on my desktop and look in here, my PDF, I have a nice looking map that I can email to somebody. So that's the lab. Make sure you post any questions you have on Facebook.